Hey guys, Courtney here with Southern Owls and today we are going to be making a super cute spring wreath with this adorable sign that says honeybees and flowers please. I actually got this in the clearance section last year at Hobby Lobby for $2.99. We're going to be using a 14 inch wreath form from the Dollar Tree. I've had a lot of people ask about a 21 inch mesh so I'm going to be using this 21 inch mesh today with um, some 10 inch mesh as well. Um, these are the ribbons I chose two two and a half inches and one one and a half inch and then I do have some pre-cut Michael's tulips so I have my hot glue pot um, warming up and getting ready for those tulips so let's prep this wreath form so we're also going to be using some pipe cleaners um, I'm just going to be using white today and we are going to need to, I'm going to always leave one long. Okay. So we have six sections. So we need six pipe cleaners. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and I'm going to cut these in half. Now, if you leave them long, you're going to need 12 pipe cleaners. Uh, but I always cut these in half and you'll see why once I start doing the poof method with my 21 inch mesh, um, I feel like there'd be a lot of wasted pipe cleaner if you left them long. So this 14 inch wreath form has six brackets. So I am just adding two pipe cleaners to each bracket. So I am uh, just twisting it around just like this, two to each bracket and we're using the these two and these two. We are skipping that middle, okay? so the two inner rings and the two outer rings and we are doing that all the way around with our pipe cleaners and you just give them a good little twist so they stay on your form and this is how we are going to attach that 21 inch deco mesh today we are going to be doing a 10 inch poof method and I always like to leave this one long because that is where we are going to start that deco mesh and end it. So I feel like it always needs just a little bit more room because uh, it is going to get twice the deco mesh in it. Okay, so now that is done, let me show the camera a little bit closer. So it's on every bracket, two per bracket, inner rings, outer rings, okay? So we're going to start in, I'm going to start in the inner with this 21 inch deco mesh. It's a nice lavender color. I felt like it really looked nice with the sign I chose. And we're going to, I always fold it in half and then crumple it together. And then we are going to throw that right down into that pipe cleaner and give it a couple of twists. So now we are going to measure at the 10 you can start wherever i'll start at the five and you're going to slide your hand down that mesh and measure out 10 inches and i started in the inside ring so now we are moving to the outer ring i call this my zigzag pattern so we're going to give it a little twist push it down and we kind of just put our hands inside that poof and poof it up and make it look really nice okay so we're going to just keep on going with that method slide down 10 inches now we're going to that inner ring put it right into those pipe cleaners give it a few good twists and i just push those down because we are done with that section put your fingers in that poof and kind of spread it out a couple little pointers when you're making these poofs guys you are going to want to make sure that the edges of the mesh stay tucked under. That is going to help you poof up your mesh. So you wanna always wanna make sure when you're sliding your hand down that mesh that the edges of that mesh is staying tucked under. So it's just gonna help give, it's almost like double, right? Double the thickness because you have all that layer so it just makes it really nice and sturdy and we are just going to keep on going with that inner and outer ring 
my zigzag pattern is what I call it. Measuring out that 10 inches, sliding your hand down your mesh, measuring 10 inches, and then putting it right that in. So you see now I am um, done with this section. See how we had to go through twice? I always just like to leave it a little longer so I don't run out of space. Now there is going to be one bracket on your wreath form that is not going to be zigzagged and it is okay. It is going to be fine. No one's going to know. You just poof these poofs together and intertwine them. Okay. There will be one section. So don't think like, oh no, <laughs> Wait, Courtney, you said zigzag and this one's not crossing each other. There is going to be one section on your form that doesn't cross and that's okay. So you see how I'm making an X now. I was in the inner ring and now I'm going to the outer ring. And you're just going to poof these on top. Okay. Just keep on sliding, measuring that 10 inches, moving around that deco mesh, twisting, fluffing, poofing, all the things. So that's just going to give you really good coverage to cover that frame because no one wants to see um, the mechanics of the wreath form, right? You don't want to see the wires of your form. Also, I always recommend to buy good quality mesh. Um, I like to shop online for my mesh. I think it's thicker. It's easier to work with. You don't have to go around your wreath as much because it is a thicker quality. So it's not going to be as see-through as um, the big box stores. Okay, so we're at our last one. Nice little twist. And we're going to poof those. Push them under those ends. Poof, poof, poof. And now we are all done with our 21 inch mesh. We're just going to chop that off. We have a little bit left so we can save that for another time. Okay, so now we're going to grab three pipe cleaners and we're going to cut these in half. Now, you can keep these long if you need a little bit more room. Keep them long. If you don't need a little bit more room, then cut them in half. So now in that middle bracket, right? Because we left that middle ring alone. We are now going to thread these pipe cleaners. So I always make a V and I thread it through using that same bracket. I thread it through and give it a little twisty twist. Okay. So this is just setting it all up for our next row of mesh. Same thing. In the bracket, make a V, twisty, twisty, twist, make a V, right through that bracket in the middle, twisty, twist, and there's six brackets. So you're going to need six pipe cleaners or three if you cut them in half. How's everyone doing today? Welcome into my channel if you're new here. My name's Courtney with Southern Owls. I'm so glad you're here. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I greatly appreciate y'all over here. Okay, twisty twist. So now we have all six ready to rumble, okay? So now we're gonna grab that 10 inch mesh. This one's a little thinner. I didn't realize I had two rolls of white open so we are going to cut these at 25 inches so this is a rotary blade this is what I like to use to cut my mesh I feel like it's just an easier cleaner cut versus scissors um, all of my tools that I'm using they are linked in my Amazon storefront which will be in the description of the tutorial so you can go um, buy the same tools that I'm using. 
in the Amazon storefront, or you can just go look and see what I'm using so you know what to grab at the store. That's totally fine too. So we need six of these at 25 inches, and this is 10 inch deco mesh, and it's just white, just white mesh. So now we're gonna use a method that we like to call cruffles. So it's a mixture between a roll and a cruffle, curls and a cruffle curls and a ruffle. I'll get it right. Excuse me. Okay, so we're going to roll that mesh in like a scroll just a few times. Pinch the middle. Lock your fingers over to the other side and you will see that it creates curls and ruffle and then another curl. So it's really cute and flirty and we are just going to add that right into those pipe cleaners and give it a twist. Keep those pipe cleaners though, because that's where we're gonna add in our ribbon tails. And we're just gonna do that to all six sections. So you're gonna let that mesh naturally roll in on itself a few times. Find the middle, give it a pinch. Lock your fingers over to the other side. And then place that right down into those pipe cleaners that we just added to the middle of our poofs, okay? And that's sweet. I just think it makes it look it's sassy, you know? And then it fills in our wreath a little bit more. I just, I love it. I think it's just such a cute, flirty technique to use. And we're going to do that to all six sections. Now, I'm just using two colors of Deco Mesh today for my project, but you can use more than two colors. You can add in. Um, a couple colors for these cruffles that would be really cute too. You can alternate it You can get really creative with it Okay <laughs> Where is everyone watching from today if you're new here? Um, I live in the Houston, Texas area in a small town Welcome in Make sure that you are following me in all the places. I have a TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. Of course, you found me on my YouTube channel. So I'm over here. I also have a website and you can become an official outlet over there and sign up for my email list at www.thesouthernowls.com. I would love for y'all to become official outlets. Okay, last one. Okay, so that's the end result. Super cute and flirty, right? So now we're going to add in the sign. So it already has this. We're going to cut this little tag off, though, and we're going to thread whoop, a pipe cleaner through it. And we're also going to add in some more holes, though. So I use a jewelry punch, which is also linked in my Amazon storefront. So I'm just threading through a pipe cleaner and I'm going to add, I think I'm going to add two, yeah, two more holes down here. So this is what the jewelry punch looks like. And we are just going to add one little hole right here and one little hole on the other side of the boot. And we are going to thread through pipe cleaner. You know, guys, um, I used to use the cable tie mounts, and I found out over time they don't last as long. So I did start punching holes in my metal signs, which does break my heart that we have to punch holes. But you know what? I want a happy customer. I don't want their sign falling off one day. I'm just going to peel that sticker off. That was the price tag. Can you believe this was... At one time, $12. Come on. $12? Come on, Hobby Lobby. Okay, so here's our sign, and we're going to add this in. I'm going to add it in um, to the corner. It's going to be cute down here like this. I think that looks cute. So we're going to thread, and this is the hardest part of wreath making. We are going to thread that pipe cleaner 
through our mesh. We want to make sure that you're going through your mesh so your sign sits on top of your mesh. Okay, guys and doesn't sink down into your wreath. That was a rookie mistake, y'all. When I first started wreath making, I used to put my signs, um, <laughs> I used to put them not through the mesh and they would, y'all, they would sink right down into that wreath and not, you wouldn't be able to read the sign. <laughs> it would just get lost. They would. And then I was like, oh, on top of the mesh. That makes so much more sense. So that's why a lot of the times when I'm designing those really big wreaths, I will add in mesh into the center of my wreath. Um, so my sign will sit right. Okay, so we are just threading through. One last pipe cleaner. telling y'all this is the hardest part and I do have those little um plastic needles I just keep on forgetting to put them in my reach <laughs> and guys I'm just tying this I'm so sorry I didn't say that I'm just tying this to my wreath form okay just tying that right onto my wreath form and we will cut that off as long as yep that looks fine okay so we're just going to cut off that extra these nippers are also linked in my Amazon storefront. I get questions about these. They are great. I like that they're spring loaded. It helps my little hands. I have very tiny hands. So anything that helps, <laughs> anything that helps. Okay, so there's our cute, adorable sign. Um, I'm also gonna now make a bow. We're gonna put that up there in the corner to balance out our sign. So our bow is going to go right there. Very simple bow. I only picked out four ribbons um, for this bow today. Oh gosh, I think I need to throw this guy away, huh? That, no worries, we have more. <laughs> no worries. Okay, so let me get all the pins out of these and put them in my pin cushion. Oh my gosh, that one's in the wrong section. Tell me, tell me your OCD without telling me your OCD. Is that black? Oh, that one's broken too. Okay, let's put that in. It was so fun. Okay, I have to tell y'all a quick funny story. Um, my son was in here the other day and one of the pins were out of place. And he was like, wait, mom, mom, I have to, I have to rearrange this. <laughs> I was like, oh gosh, he's so much like me. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of tails, I think. I think that will be super cute on this wreath. So we're going to do 10 inch tails today. And I think six inches is going to be perfect. Six inch loops. So if you're using a bow maker, you are going to measure out um, 10 inches for your tails and six inches for your loops. If you're doing a hand bow, those loops you're going to measure at the 12 and bring it together for your loops. Same thing. I thought this was so cute i love the scalloped laced edge it's so flirty and adorable and we're going to stick with that six inches and i just kind of start forming my bow in my hand as i'm making it actually i think most of our ribbon today um is from creek road designs tx which i will tag them in the comments i do have a code for them too which i will also put in the comments so we're going to shrink these down to five and a half inches now so if you're doing with your hands you're going to measure at the 11 we're going to do four of these four loops at the 11 so that's five and a half five and a half five and a half Okay, and we're still sticking with that 10 inch tail. We might cut off a little inch or two at the end and kind of be able to see all the layers. And I do, I just kind of start shaping the bow a little bit as I go. That's darling, I love that pop of yellow. And then we're gonna add in our racetrack loop, 10 inches. 
flip that bad boy around our thumb. I always just measure that with my eyes, okay? I just, whatever I feel like looks good is how big I do my center loop. Um, I'm then gonna grab another pipe cleaner and a cable tie. These are four inch cable ties. And I'm gonna wrap that around where we're holding it. Thread it through, tie it just a little bit, but not all the way. Thread that pipe cleaner and now go all the way. Okay, cut that extra off. And now we have a very cute, oh, I think I might have it like that, that's fun. A very cute flirty bow. Now we're gonna dovetail our end, so we're just gonna take that ribbon, fold it in half, and cut up at an angle. Yes, when I first started crafting, that was a hard thing for my brain <laughs> to understand I am dyslexic. Um, so sometimes I just, I get things backwards. And I still do. I still, it's, a, <laughs> it's just my brain flips things and that's okay. So just fold that in half and cut up at an angle. And we're going to do that to all of our tails. I do use another common question I always get asked. Um, I do always use wired ribbon. I do because it just it makes your bow loops um, stand up. Um, and not flop around and you can make your ribbon tails be really pretty in arch as well with that wired so we're going to add this I'm going to cut this pipe cleaner off right here and just tuck it under because we're not going to add ribbon tails right there we're going to add this beautiful bow and we are just going to thread this oh I didn't show y'all <gasps> <laughs> we're going to thread that right through the mesh make sure you're going through the mesh again and not under the mesh so your bow doesn't sink down into your wreath you want to do that with any items that you're attaching to your wreath okay always make sure that you're going through the mesh and i just twist 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 on the back and before I cut that extra off, I just want to make sure that the bow is bowing, right? That the bow's in the right place and that everything looks good. That's cute. got our big bow our cute little sign so now i'm going to add in some more tails so we have this exposed and this one and we'll do a little bit right there too so we have three um pipe cleaners left that we're going to do some tails in and i might actually you know i think we're going to do some corner tails too let me pull these it's going to need a little pizzazz over here but we'll probably just use the one and a half inch. Let's see. Um, okay, for these, I definitely want to use this beautiful bee ribbon. And we're going to do 12 inch tails. Um, this is a ribbon tail board. I love these. But if you're new to crafting, save your pennies and um, just use a piece of cardboard cut at 12 inches. If you're an OG, you know. That's what I used to do, y'all. I used to just use piece of cardboard cut at 12 and 13 inches because those are normally what I like to cut my tails at and I just wrapped it around this is such a big time saver because I used to <laughs> measure out each individual tail and you really want to work smarter not harder so that is a huge time saver wrapping your ribbon around something okay friends okay so we're going to do three of these and three of the yellow Actually, we're going to do five. I'm sorry, five of the yellow because I'm going to do little tails off the side of our boot, rain boot. So 
so five of these and I'm just cutting that right on that seam that you create um, if you're new to craft making wreath making excuse me don't don't do this don't do what I'm doing take the time and <laughs> cut two or three at a time and then build it up and then then cut more at a time because you don't want to go back and be like oh well, that one's wonky because I cut you know five at a time so take your time with that okay we're going to do five of these also at 12 inches okay also if you do want these ribbon tail boards um I will link them in the comments as well I normally do forget to link these ribbon tail boards I get them off of Etsy so my apologies but if you do comment um I will get back to you and let you know where I buy them from they are listed on my website y'all in the blog section um www.thesouthernowls.com um I do have a blog about these ribbon tail boards well it's my favorite Etsy shops but <laughs> they're listed there okay so five of these so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to <laughs> drop everything off my station <laughs> you know it was going really smooth it's all you know there's always got to be a Courtney moment in my YouTube tutorial so it just wouldn't be a Courtney video <laughs> okay we're gonna layer these on I'm gonna V these out because you're not going to see up there. So we're going to V these out. So I'm just going to layer these on top of each other like this. Two and a half inch on the bottom, one and a half inch, one and a half inch. You're going to find that middle, give it a pinch, and I already make it into a V like this. So you just go here, here, right? Just V it, and then you're going to put that right into that pipe cleaner <clears throat> excuse me give it a couple twists and then I am going to spread and fan out those tails okay so isn't that darling so now you see a little bit of piece of all of the ribbon so here is going to be a little different I'm going to add in this two and a half inch I'm going to do this one up and down I'm going to add that in first twist it and then I'm going to grab one of each of the one and a half inches find the middle and I'm going to make an X and put that down into my pipe cleaners and give it a twist I'm always worried that it's not a good angle and y'all aren't going to be able to see but I think we're good And see, I just arched that ribbon up to make it super cute and flirty. Okay. Now, this is going to be a little tricky. We're going to pull those out, those pipe cleaners. I'm going to put the yellow on top of this one because the purple is right here. I'm going to stack one of the purple and one of the yellow one and a half inches we're gonna slide it into that pipe cleaner give it a little bit of a twist 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 cut off that extra whoop and tuck it underneath that sign and I'm gonna do the same thing just kind of fan them out a little bit so you can see all the layers that's cute we're going to do the same thing right here, but I'm going to put the purple on top. So it's a little bit of a different pattern, even though we are spreading them out. I do think it kind of makes a little bit of a difference. Maybe it's in my head. But go underneath that sign, twist, twist, twist. I'm not going to try to cut that. I'm just going to tuck those and then fan out our tails a little bit like that. Okay, so now we have those little tails shooting out of the sign. That's adorable. So now we have one more section left. So we are going to put this two and a half inch ribbon down, up and down, just like we did at the bottom. Find the middle. Okay, 
And then we're going to get the one and a half inch. Find the middle, give it a pinch. Same thing with the purple. Lay it on top. Put it right in to that pipe cleaner. Twist, twist, twist. And I'm just going to tuck that down. And then fan these out. Arch them up. Okay, I kind of destroyed my bow a little bit. <laughs> Let me flip that bow back out. It happens while we're making our reeds. It's okay. That's why we use wired ribbon and we can just fluff that bow right back up. Super cute. Okay. That's adorable. Okay, so you could stop here. You, this looks totally fine. You could stop here, but I'm going to add in a little bit of these tulips because I just think it's going to be really cute coming, you know, out from underneath the ribbon. Just a few, you know, it doesn't have to be crazy, but just a few. These are a little long. I am going to cut them just a little bit. Um, I have a glue pot um, right here. That's my short bonder. That is what I'm going to be dipping the ends of the tulips in. The consistency I like is honey. Okay. And we are just going to start placing these into our wreath, just adding a cute little floral pop. Nothing crazy. These florals are from Michael's. And we'll just put a few in here and there. Just kind of make it a little flirty. I did pull some white. I don't know if I'm going to use the white though. I might just stick with the yellow and the purple. I'm just adding it underneath that ribbon. Little pops. Okay, maybe I will add the white. That's cute. So now we have just little, ooh, little dabs. That's cute. We're not done. I'll show you in a minute. Stay tuned. Putting a few more in. Sticking out. You know, it'd be kind of cute doing all three right at the top of that sign. I kind of feel like it would bring it a little bit more to life. We're going to add in another yellow trio. That over here, that's going to be kind of cute. <gasps> that's going to be cute. And white on the other side. I'm just dipping it in that glue pot, swirling it just a little bit so we don't have glue gobs shooting out at us. It happens. It happens. If you don't have a glue pot, that's okay too. You can just use your hot glue gun. You just add a little bit of glue to the stem and put it into your wreath. I did not get a glue pot until I had been crafting for a couple years. So that was definitely, definitely a game changer though. Don't wait too long. If you start working with a lot of florals, um, don't wait too long. Don't sleep on the glue pot because I like it better than the glue gun, y'all. Don't sleep on that. I think this is perfect. We're going to have one little yellow. We might add a couple to the bow, but I think just a little bit of floral just kind of spruces it up a little bit. Nothing crazy, though. Oh, isn't that cute? Okay, let's look at it from afar. I'm gonna add just a couple to the bow. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I have a single white. Single white, that's fine though. We can, ooh, you know what would be kind of cool? Let's like peel that whole thing off. It would be kind of fun to like, oh, I don't know. Mm, maybe not. 
Bad idea. Okay, let's add the <laughs> like it, it gets lost. <clears throat> let's add a couple to the top. <laughs> you just never know. You just never know. Couple to the top of that bow. And like I said, you could stop before the florals. You don't have to add the tulips. But I just thought it was a cute little touch. And these tulips are a really good price, especially when you get them on sale at Michael's. I need one more. Let me grab one more. Should I do purple? I think I want to do one more purple. On the other side of the bow. That just made it so cute. Adding a little bit of laurel to that. I really like that, how that came out. And like I said, you don't have to add in the tulips if you don't want to. You can stop at just the ribbon. Um, that's really fun. That made it really cute and flirty. Oh, 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 taking you on a ride. Okay, so the door hanger part. So I use this, I think it's 16 inch gauge wire. I buy it in bulk from Home Depot. And I cut off a few inches, bend it, find the top of your wreath, and then I use my hands. Be careful, you can use you know, those pliers if you need to. But then we have a nice, good, sturdy handle, and I forgot. We did not clean that bow off right because you want to make sure that you're not going to leave any pipe cleaners sticking out because you don't want to scratch your client's door that's the back of the wreath here's the front of the wreath super cute super super elegant okay all right guys thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight or today i don't know when you're watching um i hope you'll have a great rest of your day um and once again my name is courtney with southern owls and um please like and subscribe to my channel if you want to follow along for some more crafty tutorials thank you so much and have a good night bye everyone